Hello, this is Josh, Eli, and and we're going to show you how to use a timer in the Multimedia Fusion 2 program. Uh, first, go down the uh, on the first frame, change color, to the black, but you don't have to. And go to insert object, counter. And, and then we're going to change the initial value to 10, and you hit enter, and we go down to numbers, select text, go up to the A right here, click it. We're going to stick with the normal font Arial, you can change it if you would like. We're just going to go bold, and then the font size, we're going to use 26, OK. Now you can't see it because it's black, go to over to color, change it, we're just going to change it to red, click on it, going to go to align and frame, horizontal center. Align and frame again, invert center. Then after that, go up to view, event editor, click it, new condition. I'm gonna click on the timer thing, right click, every, then we're gonna change it to one second. You can change it to whatever you'd like. Okay, go to the counter, right click, go to subtract from counter. You're gonna change it to one, and you hit enter. After that, new condition, then you go to the counter, Right click, compare the counter to a value, and we're going to leave it at zero. So I'm going to hit zero because no next frame. And there it is. Now, what we're going to do is make it so when it hits the zero, we will go to the next frame. And now we will make the next frame. We'll just leave this frame white so you can tell that the frame actually did change. Now we'll run it, show you guys that it actually does work. As you can see, when the timer reached zero, it then jumped to the white frame. Hope this helped you guys, and good luck making all your games with Multimedia Fusion 2.